Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow FX once again, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate the installation process for our new Premiere Pro for the Stream Deck Plus device. Now our Stream Deck Plus line is a little different uh, than our regular line in terms of the installation because we use multiple profiles and string them all together. So I'm going to walk you through the process of where everything needs to get relinked. Okay, so when you first uh, download the pack, this is what you'll see. The first thing we want to do is you want to install the keyboard shortcut files. Most of the commands in here uh, rely on keyboard shortcuts and our keyboard shortcut file needs to be installed and selected in Premiere in order for everything to work. The key file has been built off of the Premiere Pro's default key file. We just added a lot of commands to that. All right, so in the keyboard shortcut files folder, you'll Navigate to your operating system, Mac or Win. I'm on Mac right now, and I'm going to be demonstrating everything on the Mac, and pretty much everything is the same. But for the Windows installation, when I need to, we'll switch over, and I'll show you where that installation happens on the Windows system. So on the Mac, what we need to do is take this file, and we are going to drop it into this location. Now, if you can see down here, it's your hard drive, users, your username, documents, Adobe, Premiere Pro, and then your version of Premiere. I'm running 23 right now, so this is where I'll put it. So I'll open up the 23, and you in the folder, um, you'll see a profile and your username. You open that up, and you scroll down, and when you're on the Mac, you'll see it says Mac here. Let's open that up. This is where your file is going to go. So you'll take this keys file, you'll drag and drop it into the Mac folder right there. Now I've already got it here. So I'm not going to duplicate that. Now the Windows system, it's the same. It's really the same setup. It's in your Documents folder, Premiere Pro, your version of Premiere. Once again, we got 23 here. Go into the Profile with your username, and into the Windows folder, and that's where you'll drag and drop the Keys file into that Win folder. Okay, so once you're done that, we'll then launch Premiere. If you already had it open, you'll need to restart it. And you go up to Premiere Pro, Keyboard Shortcuts, and under the Keyboard Layout Preset drop down, you will select the key file that you just installed, SideshowFX Premiere Pro Profiles version 2. If you have a previous version of our pack, you can use this one and everything will still work the same on your XL or your MK2 device. We've just added some new things to the existing shortcut file, so you should have no problems with that. You say OK, and the shortcuts that are built into our Stream Deck profile are in alignment. Now, we go to back to our download folder, and we're going to the Stream Deck profiles folder. These are where all the uh, profiles are that we're going to load in. Let's open this up. I'm on the Mac once again, so it's the same process on the Mac versus the Windows. And we've got 12 different profiles here, and we're going to link them all together. Now to install them on the Mac, you can shift select them all and double click, and they should all install. We've found that occasionally it will miss one or two in that batch process. So you're actually better off to import each one by one. And you do that by double clicking, making sure the Stream Deck is open, and then you double click to send it to here. Now you want to make sure if you've got more than one device, uh, as I do here, when you see the pull down, I've got an MK, I've got the Plus device, I've got a pedal, and I got an XL. You want to make sure for this set, because it's a, a Plus profile, that, you, you, that you're not sitting on the XL here. Because when you double, double click, it will load it into your XL profile uh, menu. So you want to make sure you're on, on the Stream Deck Plus, and then when we double click, we can go through the list here and just double click each one of these, making sure that they install. All right, that's it. I've gone through the whole list. Now what we're going to do is open the gear menu here, the preferences, and we're going to go through and just make sure everything did install correctly. So there should be 12 of them. And I can see that I have all 12 here. Now what you want to do 
is uh, you can go to uh, the Premier Pro main profile here and you can see it's uh, defaulted for some reason. It's defaulted that it's going to open when Photoshop is open. We don't want that. So what this does is, if you're not too familiar, when you um, launch Premiere or when you bring Premiere in focus, if it's already open, if it's in the background, you bring it in focus, this will tell Stream Deck which profile you want to appear on your device when Premiere is in focus. Obviously, Photoshop is wrong, so we want to take this down to Premiere Pro and the version you're running, which is 23 in this case. So now when Premiere comes into focus, the uh, Premiere Pro main profile will appear on our device. Okay, so we can close the preferences for now. And the process is, of course, the same on, on the Windows system. You will just double click each one of them, just as we did on the Mac. So now when you look at my device, I have the main profile up and selected. Now we're going to program the navigation that I talked about earlier that uh, we need to uh, make everything linked together. So we're going to click on the first one, which is Manage. We're going to point it to Premiere Pro Manage, Editing, Premiere Pro Editing, Audio, Premiere Pro Audio, Graphics and Titles, Graphics and Titles, Markers, Markers, Multicam, Keyframe, Keyframing, and Caption, Premiere Pro Caption. So the main menu now is working. We can test it on our device by clicking uh, Manage here. And you can see uh, we send ourselves over to the Manage Profile. Now if I was to hit the main button, it's not going to send us in the right direction because it also needs to be programmed. You can see when I click on it here, it's sending us to another profile that I have loaded. Well, we don't want that. We want, want all of these to go back to the Premiere Pro main page. So we'll take this, go Premiere Pro main. And now when I click it on the device, we'll have a loop. So manage takes us to manage and main takes us back to the main where we were. So we're going to do that with the rest of them. So into editing, we'll click main. And back to main. Now you'll notice that there was another key in editing there that we need to program. It's the trim one. We have to point this to the trim profile. Premiere Pro trim. So let's click on that. That takes us to the trim profile and we have to send this one. Because this doesn't exist in the main, we're going to send this back to where we just were, which is the editing profile. So trim goes to editing, which is where we were, and then main takes us back to the main page. Now let's go to audio, main, and you saw there's another menu there in audio, and it's the same as the one that's on our main page, it's keyframe, and you can see it, it's already on our our main menu here. We can do it now or later, but while we're here, let's just do it now. So at the keyframe, we're going to send it to keyframing. And then the main page of keyframe, we want to send back to the main. Because that's where the keyframing exists on the main page. All right, now we're going to move over to graphics and titles. Main here. Goes to main. While we're here, we're going to go to align. And we are going to select the align profile. We'll click into that. Main is going to go back to where we just were, which is graphics and titles allowing us to go back and forth. Color is going to go to the Premiere Pro Color. And its main will also go back to Graphics. OK. 
Now back to main, we're going to click on markers. It's main. We'll go back to the main. Multicam. Back to main. Keyframe we just did. It will take us back to main. And caption will take us back to main. And that's it. You have now successfully relinked everything to each other. You're all good to go. You're ready to use the Stream Deck Plus device for your editing now. I encourage you to take a look at our navigation video where I go over in detail all the different profiles and what they offer, in particular the, the dials themselves. So take a look at that and uh, you'll be right up to speed with how the profile is built and what it offers you. As always, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.